Kevin Na coming off an eagle at 16. It was a downhill quick putt. You barely got to hit it. And it, it helps when the ball's moving slowly because you can get to the hole before the ball. I hit a great putt and it started right on line. I took a big stride and I got it really quick there. My hand went right in as soon as the ball went in. Oh, <laughs> wow. Man. Pick it up. I've always done it, so it wasn't a big deal. And I, and I kind of looked over and he was just cracking up. <laughs> Tiger, Tiger got a kick out of that one. Never in a million years would have thought he was going to imitate me and, and do that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh my God, I can't believe Tiger just, the goat just did that. I said, I can't believe you just did that. And he goes, well, I had to make sure I had to start online first. And I said, I didn't want to try to do it and miss. That's a great picture right there. Look at those two. What a place to do it on 17th at Sawgrass and the whole world to see that. And we had a lot of fun. We laughed about it and uh, it went viral. And ever since then on social media, I get tagged every time somebody walks in a putt. Knows how to walk it in. He's kind of patting that move. Well, let's just walk it in. Signature move. There he is, Kevin, walk it in now. <laughs> started in junior golf. We always see guys raise the putter and start walking, but you never see really someone chase after the hole. I would take a, a big stride and, and reach for it with my hand. And maybe it's time to just start, you know, leaving <laughs> his putting stance right after he makes contact on every stroke. When I hit a good putt, it starts on line halfway there, and I'm reaching for it. And, you know, as good as the greens are on tour, you know, it's, it's pretty predictable what the ball's going to do the last few feet. Started the walk about six feet out. He knew that one was dead center. It's great for birdie putts, and even on a par putt, you do it, it kind of gets you pumped up. Going to the next hole. For me, I think it helps me play a little bit more aggressive. When you want to walk in a putt, it helps to have a downhill putt because you can hit it softer and the ball's moving slower and you can beat it to the hole. We got about four and a half feet here, a little bit downhill. So what you want to do is after you hit your putt and halfway there, you know it, you hit your spot, you want to take a big stride with the left leg, reach for the left arm, and as soon as it goes in, you grab for it. Now make sure you don't touch the ball before it goes to the hole because that's a penalty. That's the way to do it. At BMW last year, I hit a putt on 16 and it was like 10 feet away and I was hopping towards the ball. And at the end, it hits something and goes a little right and it does like a whole circle lifts in it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Careful. Now I look at Kenny and I go, I'm gonna give it one of these. Match play, I did it a lot. And you know, it kind of gets to your opponent in match play. Oh, oh doing the nod, the, the big nah. step. When you got a really important one, you know, maybe to win a, win a match or take one up going to the last toe. What do they call it now? There's a big flex? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> did it anyway, just for style points. <laughs> Why not? I've seen a lot of creative ones. I've seen like um, some some college kids, they do it. I've seen amateurs, pros, and celebrities. One take, baby. Oh, one take. I've seen guys miss, and everybody's <laughs> laughing. The, you know, fellow players are laughing. And you know, missing is kind of funny, too. <laughs> Something that I've always done, and I'll probably keep doing it. And the fans love it, so I got to give them what they like.